What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mamsa Goose Gaming and we're back with another Road to Interstellar video. This time we'll be finally unlocking our first forged camo or diamond camo as we know it. And we will be doing it by using none other than the Karambit knife. I cannot wait to unlock our first diamond camo, so let's do this. As you guys can see here, I've already completed the base camo which is get 50 kills with the Karambit. Very easy in shipment, completed in no time. We move on to the gilded or the gold camo. You have to get 10 kills while the enemy is affected by one of your tacticals. So then we move on to the Force challenge which is get 20 kills without the enemy damaging you with the karambit i've already completed 12 out of the required 20 so let's get in the game complete those eight remaining and unlock the first forge slash diamond camo all right everybody here we are on the new shipment of course and um let's do this man let's do this we just need eight more kills with this karambit while the enemy while the enemy has not damaged me like that you see like that that will definitely count right there you have to kill the enemy without him damaging you and that counts as one this could be our second oh okay that's fine that's fine come on okay not sure about that not sure but to be honest with you guys completing the melees in this game were actually easier than i really thought come on come on come on come on boom there it goes that's another kill without the enemy damaging me right there let's go you see these are the kills that we want in order to unlock the diamond camo on the knife but like i was saying the challenges for the melee this time around were very easy i mean once shipment was introduced and all you have to do is get 50 kills that that is very very easy okay you will get them in no time even if you only get one kill per match still 50 matches you will complete it boom there it goes that's another kill without the enemy damaging me right there not many more left to go not many more left to go oh boom boom then let's go Okay, come on, come on, boom, double kill, let's go. That is probably the easiest double kills without the enemy damaging me, and of course we made progress. That was very, very lucky, not gonna lie. Spawned me right next to the enemy without even them knowing. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that, okay, we'll definitely take that. However, the gold camo for the knife does get a bit frustrating if I'm being honest with you guys, just because you have to kill an enemy that is affected by your tactical, and you guys know how this game is. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. When it works, it's quite awesome, but when it doesn't, it does get quite frustrating, not gonna lie. Come on, come on, boom, let's go baby, I'm not sure if that counts or not, I'm not sure, I hope it does, but I'm not sure. But then also when it comes to the force camo that we're doing right now, for the crambit it's quite easy, you just have to get 20 kills without the enemy damaging you, however, for the gutter knife, that's a different story. The force or the diamond, come on, come on, boom, let's go, that's another double kill without the enemy damaging me, let's go. Okay, let's go, I mean, how many is that? I'm pretty sure I'm either one or two off, nothing more than that, no way. I'm either one or two off, okay, definitely something like that, nothing more. But when it comes to the force camo, or the diamond camo for the gutter knife it requires you to get bloodthirsty okay however there is currently a bug in the game and if you don't know how to do it yesterday's video was me talking about that in a, in a short so if you guys haven't seen that make sure to check it out it will tell you how you can get those bloodthirsties quickly definitely definitely will help you out it's very easy but now it's the moment of truth have we gone enough kills without the enemy damaging us or not let's see okay here we are the moment of truth here is the crambe i'm gonna press the gunsmith have we done it and yes we have let's go the first camo unlocked 20 kills without the enemy damaging me and like you guys saw i unlocked it however the graphic in game did not show up which is quite frustrating not gonna lie to you guys you do all these challenges you want to see that graphic for all your hard work appear in game to say you've unlocked this camo unfortunately it's bugged in mon warfare 3 but there it goes what matters is we've unlocked our first forged or diamond camo in mon warfare 3 i'm very excited let's get in a private match and showcase it to you guys all right everybody here we're in a private match with our forged camo karambit knife let's inspect it let's see okay okay Alright, I mean, we can't really see it that well. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, snap, look at that. Oh, snap. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the camos in this game will look really, really awesome. And yeah, here it goes, another, in my opinion, one of the most annoying classes. You have the melees and you have the rocket launcher or the launchers. Those classes are the annoying ones because I'm just not good at them, to be honest. And like you guys saw in this video, I die a lot of times before I can actually complete them. And that's fine when you're playing in a game like shipment and using a melee or a launcher. That will happen a lot. It's just about you just trying to make sure to get through it. That's fine. Even if you you get killed many times just focus on what you're doing get the challenge completed and that's all that matters so with the diamond unlocked on the crambit knife there is one out of i believe 31 weapons left to do i can i'm very excited cannot wait to finally unlock priceless and then of course unlock the final mastery camo and that is interstellar camo but with all that being said thank you guys for seeing this video if you enjoyed it make sure to see for the like button 15 call of duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and notification squad and i'll catch you guys later